using number sense to solve equations. An equation is a mathematical sentence with an equal sign. So here we got an equation over here. We got 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. And since that has an equal sign, it is an equation. An open sentence is an equation with at least one variable. So here we have something that we don't know what it is yet because it's a letter. We don't know what the value is. A plus 6 is equal to 10. So that's an open sentence. A solution to the equation is the value that makes the equation true. So we know that this is going to be 4 because 4 plus 6 equals 10. But that's the solution of the equation This uh, that is this. So um, an open sentence is a type of equation. Now, you can do uh, solve equations pretty easily uh, in some cases by just plugging in things and seeing if they, if they work. So solving equations through substitution, just plug in the value to see if, it's, if it is true. So here we got n minus 27 is equal to 38. So all we do is we plug in the first value and we say, well, is 11 minus 27 equal to 38? No. This is going to be equal to, well, let's do, the, do it the way that we're supposed to. Change it into an addition problem. Which one has value or absolute value? Negative 27 does, so negative value. And then that's going to be negative 16, so no. This is not correct. Uh, it's not 38, so we know that's not right. So now we try the next one, 51. 51 minus 27. Is that equal to 38? Well, let's see. Well, 51 minus 27. Well, what's 51 minus 27? It's actually going to be 24. So 24, that's not going to work. So that's not correct. So it's not equal to there. Just draw that through. So we know this is not a solution. This is not a solution. So we're hoping this is the solution. Let's try it. 65 minus 27 is equal to 38. Does that work? Yes, it does, because it just does. So this is our solution, and we're done with that problem. Now, you can solve equations frequently just by using mental math and seeing what makes sense. You can talk about w minus 6 is equal to 4. So what minus 6 is equal to 4? And hopefully what jumps to your head is, well, something minus 6 is equal to 4. Well, that's going to be 10. 3 times something is equal to 33. And if you know your multiplication tables, you know that's just going to be 11. It really does help, though, to talk it out sometimes when you're working with that. Now, estimating solutions, when you don't need an exact answer or when, check, or when checking your answers, you can go ahead and estimate a solution and make it so that it's close. So here again, h minus 4 and 9 tenths, or 4.9, is equal to 13.8. So I can just again change this just the way I did before to estimate is equal to 14. So my, uh, my value then is going to be, well, what number minus 5 is equal to 14? So that would make sense that it's going to be uh, close to 19. And you'll see that it's pretty darn close, and we're done.